Hello there, I'm Sir Class here. Welcome to another tutorial on SC Toots. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get a Pro Vocal Mix with this special plugin. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. So, before we get started, I want you to listen to the before. I'm going to mute this and I'm going to play it back. And now to listen to the um after. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where... Slate Virtual Mix Rack is a collection of analog model plugins that focus primarily on filters and dynamics. So for us to use virtual mix rack we're going to first of all for our vocals we're going to first of all select a preset that i find delightful for mixing most modern vocals which is i'm going to come i'm going to click this portion right here I'm going to come to vocals i'm going to click area every vocals one and you can see the area vocals presets it brings up an eq that is a um, multi-band eq with four parts a high frequency, two mid frequencies, and a low end um, frequency with a FET compressor, which is very fast, where the input detects a threshold. So this helps control the threshold, the inputs. So if you take it down all the way, it tells it to increase the threshold. If you take it up here, it reduces the threshold. And then we have an output to make up for, that is like makeup gain. Then we have the regular attack, which is really fast. You can see it stops at seven and release, which also stops at seven. This is a very fast and snappy compressor. And we have a revival right here, which is a, a kind of saturation plugin, but it does a little bit more because you can kind of adjust the amount of brightness you can add to it and the depth. So it's more like it adds more brightness, more depth and body to your vocals. It depends on what you really want it to do. It's a very simple and easy straightforward plugin, which we're going to look into pretty soon. All right, so I'm going to play our current vocal with the beats. I'm going to turn it off completely and wait to hear how it sounds. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send me, where they don't know me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. I saw my wrist deal like God Sam. So this is the hook for the song. So I'm going to play it now with the presets and hear it sounds. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send me, where they don't know me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. I saw my wrist deal like God Sam, now I'm every... So you can notice that instant brightness that I add. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn all of this. I'm going to just solo the EQ so I can start working on it because I may not necessarily want the entire brightness from it. So with the EQ, I'm going to listen again with the EQ and see what I feel can be adjusted. So one thing you should know is that these analog model plugins do have their own sound, even if it's not going to really work, as long as it's the audio is passing through it, as long as it's not bypassed, each of these plugins right here have its own characteristic sound without you necessarily um, changing the parameters of the plugin. So I noticed the preset took away some of the low end, right? You can see this is the low end frequency. This is the, these are the mid frequencies. So I'm going to bring it back so I don't so I don't lose some of the body. Okay, I'm going to just just a little bit of boosting now for EQ, whether it's a graphic EQ, parametric EQ. Um, do not go crazy beyond two decibel change. Really get in there and just enhance the sound. We're not really doing um surgical EQ. We're just complementing and enhancing the sound with this EQ. And also right here, I don't want the the um mid frequencies to be lost. I want the mid frequencies to pop out a little bit more for more body of the vocals. I want the vocals to be a bit fat with some shine, not thin and some shine. See, gone 
the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send me, where they don't know me, yeah. So I'm going to turn off this. I'm going to unsolo this as well so you hear the difference again. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. Then I'm going to turn it on again so I hear it now, it sounds. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now. You can see it sounds a bit more brighter and it sounds like it has more character to it. So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, recording vocals, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training, yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You feel a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. So now I'm going to go into the compression because if you notice there's some inconsistency with the loudness of the vocal. Some parts are really loud and some parts are a bit more quiet. So we're going to turn on the compressor next and we're going to um, play with the beats, turn everything back on. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. So I think it sounds a lot more consistent now. So let's hear it again and see. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Then without it. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send you can see it sounds much more control right now with this compressor. And now we're going to head on to Revival. What the Revival does is essentially add some shine and body or depth to the vocal. So this is how it sounds by default. Let's hear how it sounds. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send me. So I, I mean, want to increase the thickness a little bit, just to add more body to the vocal. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Gone are the days where they don't send me, where they don't know me, yeah. All right, I think that sounds really good. One final thing I'm going to add is a mic modeler, the Blackbird Studio plugin. I just add this right here at the end of the chain. I know some people are going to argue that it should be at the beginning, but I'm not doing this to try and replicate the sound of any microphone. I'm just doing this to enhance the tone of the vocal, right? So what I'm simply going to do is to just listen to it and see how it sounds. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. You can see how more upfront this sounds, right? See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. Then let me turn it off and compare. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. Turn it on again. See, gone are the days where they don't know me, where they don't send me, yeah. See me now, now me the ball, oh, me the ball, oh. Now, you do not necessarily need this plugin to get a great mix, but this can surely help enhance your vocal tone and make your mix sound even much more interesting.